They're not instructions if they instruct themselves and nobody gets the chance to read them. Guess who snitches? Hey guys, it's Spickamo here. So today I'm going to be talking about the wonderful world of technological advances that we live in. Just gone a little bit too far into the lazy side. So what could I be talking about? I will let you know in just a second. So basically, my mom and I, she was driving me to school and we turned on the radio. And one of her radio stations that she listens to frequently, um, it has this section where it just talks about technological advances and new devices out there and stuff. And what did I hear? I heard 4D printing. 4D printing. Now if you ask me my first reaction to 4D printing, I thought that when you printed something and the figure, I guess, that was on the page actually seemed like it was actually popping out, that if you went to touch it, like, it looked like you were about to, but it actually wasn't. That's what I thought 4D printing was. But instead, what do I find out? That 4D printing is actually some next thing where you print something that, given the instructions properly, it can build itself once printed. What? If you ask me, don't you think that that's a little on the lazy side? Like you're so willing to give up your experience in building stuff that you're actually going to tell this paper printer thing to print out this instructions in order for them to instruct themselves to build something for you just so you don't have to? To be honest, the example that the guy had used in the radio station, he had said something like, Oh, instead of now you having to spend time on reading instructions and manuals and figuring out what goes here and there and where, in the case of Ikea, where everything, you know, requires a billion years of experience with instructions in order for you to build it. Instead, you can just have instructions that build themselves. Okay. Go back a step. First of all, I don't understand what's so fancy dandy about reading instructions in order for you to build something. I'm pretty sure you don't need a PhD to build something from IKEA. Second, how dare you even insult the human race with our intellectual capacity that we have over any other species and say that we are too lazy to even get off our bums in order to just not build instructions? that build themselves. I'm sorry, if you ask me, that's kind of saying that we are getting a little bit too advanced with this technology thing. I'm pretty sure that you know, we're pretty capable of reading some words on paper and flipping to the side that's English or whatever language you read in and physically see, oh, this is piece A, which goes in piece B or something. I'm pretty sure that we're getting a little bit on the lazy side when you say that the instructions need to be printed in order for us not to read the instructions to build something that we want. I'm sorry, if cavemen back in the day really, really, really didn't want to build a fire in order to keep warm and they just suddenly you know, they wanted heating systems in their homes or in their caves, I should say. You know what, I'm pretty sure that they would have. But you know what, the experience of building a fire, you know what, it's unique. I wish I was that first person that created fire. But you know what, I'm not. And you know what, I'm definitely not going to be the kind of person that will print something to build itself. Like, how lazy can somebody be in order to... I don't know, in order to, like, what? And this is just a side thing. Okay, I understand if something gets printed on paper for the paper to build itself, but how on earth can you build something out of wood if it's gonna print the wood first? Like, I didn't really understand the concept of how some things can be printed. For example, a patio set or a little birdhouse. How is it exactly that you're gonna print this birdhouse? I'm pretty sure no printer in the world has been able to do that. Pretty sure printers can only take paper. Yeah, they're both made out of wood and trees and stuff. They still doesn't make it true. So some things I just don't understand. Some things I just don't see the point of it. And third, I just, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that we're capably able to, you know, just read some instructions and share the moment with our loved ones if they want to help us build something because wouldn't it be a nice experience if you got to build a patio set together that you guys are going to enjoy together together 
I'm pretty sure that's a better way to go than just watching it print itself. Because I'm pretty sure you're stepping back in time in terms of your intellectuality if you're choosing to do so. So yeah, that is my opinion about 4D printing, which I don't even know who would ever come up with that, but okay. What is your opinion? I quite frankly want to know who is for this idea and who is against this idea, which side are you on, and just in general, do you think that technology is getting a little way too crazy on the lazy side of these technological advances? Because to be honest, I find that everything now is on cell phones, agendas, calendars, notes, everything. And people even at school, they take pictures of notes instead of writing them down. So I'm sorry, if you write something down, it sticks in here way better than if you look at a picture. And because you're going to have to write it down anyway for you to remember it. So what I want to know, are we getting a little too carried away with these technological advances that, you know, we crave all the time? Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about this and you know, our little beautiful world of technology. So yeah, I hope you have a good day and we'll see you next week. Spick them out.